So what's up everyone? It is your girl JL Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna do another five brands to do themselves. So if you don't know what five brands to do themselves is, it's pretty self-explanatory. I talk to you about five different makeup brands and show you the palettes that have somewhat similar color stories enough to the point where it's like you could have just not made this palette because you have so many other palettes that look exactly the same and have the exact same colors to them that you just out here trying to get all the coins but you not coming up with creativity in order to secure the coins. You just hoping that people that bought one collection will buy another collection or it's similar it's not similar enough to where they can you know in a buying the I mean it's not similar enough to where they think that they don't need it but I personally do and I mean like I shouldn't be talking too much because like I'm the clown who has all this to show to you but sometimes I do this just to show you that you don't need everything that comes out because a lot of the things look the same as other things and they're from the same brand so sometimes that's why I do it sometimes I just have a whole bunch of stuff and I still want to try more stuff like Karen will say sometimes it's a slow makeup um, week, so I want to buy something, so I end up buying this thing that looks similar to another thing. But it's good for you because it'll show you that some things are so similar enough to even if it is on sale that you don't need to get it if you already have something similar to it. That's the reason I do a lot of the videos that I do. I'm trying to show you that if you already have this thing, you don't need this thing, or you don't have this thing, you need this thing. But without further ado, after I've been sitting here bragging for five minutes, we got three different color pop offender things, and then one from Huda and one from Mother. So let's get to it. So we all know I'm a blue palette connoisseur. Blue, greens, and purples are my specialty. Um, but yeah, so we got all these little palettes here. Now, they just came out with this one at Ulta. This is called Wait and See. And that's when I was like, it looks so much similar to a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you look at it, it has the same dark blue just about as in this one. To me, this one just looks a little bit lighter, and this one seems to be a little bit deeper. But they look pretty much the same. Then you have this palette. It has the almost the other three shades in it minus that blue. So it's like if I took this blue out, I feel like this quad would literally be the same. Except this is the matte and that was the shimmer. But you see what I'm saying? Like, how do I do myself? Then they got the whole high tide palette that specializes in the turquoise type shades that are in this one. So I just showed you three different color pop palettes that have the exact same color story to them to go along with this new one that they just came out with. And one of them I just showed you is currently on sale. So, if I remember correctly, I believe these two are on sale for $4. Don't quote me about this one. But I'm quite sure this one is on sale for $4 right now. Because this is part of their Christmas um, collection, I believe, that they're getting rid of. It within the last call section. So, if you want to grab it, go ahead and grab it, girl. But, um, yeah, all these have been trying to get. Like a clown, I went out and bought this one. But that's because certain tones I just go for and like and buy all the time. So, that is... Um, the first set of color pop palettes. My battery's about to die, so let me go get another one. And then we'll get into the second set, which is purple. It's another color that I really like. So next we have um, all three of these. So these are all purple-based, um, mauve-ish type shades. So we have the, what is this? Gotta a gate. And this one is currently on sale for $4 as well. So all the, little pla the first two little plastic ones I had to show you are on sale. Um, I don't think they have this set anymore. Don't quote me. This is on a wing. So this was a holiday set that came um, with a whole bunch of the grungier versions of the Two Honk collection. I've shown you all that in the past. Five brands do themselves. But this is what it looks like side by side. As you can see, like, it just seems to be this top part right here. And they just added this bright shade for five. But it's four without it. And they look exactly the same. And then we have the... Or what is it orchard you not and see how these tones are matching similar to it it has some of the tones in it and then this has some of the tones in it as well so i feel like all the tones are just overlapping each other and it's just so much going on to so like, why do we need all of this like why why do we need all of those all of them look the same why why do i need all of them I didn't, but I got them all with really good deals, and I could do this video. So, you, so for me, they serve the purpose. Now, for you, they might not if you're not a content creator. But I did it to show you that you didn't need all three of them. You can buy the $4 one and have some of the tones from the Orchard Glad and, you know, go on with your day. Especially if you're somebody who does a lot of neutral stuff. Next, I have the Of Quartz and the Brooklyn... Next palette. So this ended up going on sale for nine dollars. I actually liked the color story of this. And if you all remember, I said I felt like the quality of this, of course, palette wasn't that good. But I felt like the color stories were pretty similar. And I was thinking about taking some of the shades out of Brooklyn Nets 
and putting in the orchard was of course quartz palette because i feel like the um colors will work better here but you see what i'm saying like about how the tones are somewhat similar this one of course is a little bit deeper than this one but i feel like they're giving off the same vibe and to me this is just a giant version of the um what is the smoke one what do you call it blowing smoke i feel like this is a giant version of that and they just put an nba team on it and i was supposed to be excited but i'm going to um recreate this palette in here and put the colors together and do what I see best now that I have um showed it to you in this video but yeah that's another way that they have duped themselves because I feel like they always duping themselves now let's get into some people I don't normally talk about now with this one I don't know if you all are just going to agree with the last two but I feel like the first three I showed were the most obvious obvious dupes next I have the Huda Beauty Neon Greens and the um Wild Obsessions Python palette so I feel like these are good companion palettes, but I also feel like this is the lighter version of this palette. Because look at what's going on. You see those same greens. You see those same corallia type shades. The only difference is there's a brown in here. But I feel like this palette is a good complimentary palette to this one. And since this one came out so long ago, I guess she thought we forgot about it. Especially since she had the lawsuit and all that. What people were getting their money back because they said it was like hurting their eyes or something like that. So... I feel like these are dupes of each other. This is just the lighter tone summary version. And this is like the deeper fall version of this palette. But you can let me know if you agree or not down below. But yeah, so that that's another one of her duping herself. I did the Jaguar palette up against her original uh, Smoky Obsessions palette. And the last one I have, of course, a Mother's Bridgerton collection. Because everybody was complaining about how this was really similar to the other one. I heard these palettes actually have names. I didn't know they had names. So... I heard, um, what's her name saying? Oh, Diamond of the First Water. Yeah, that, I heard um, Morgan Turner name them when she was showing them. And I was like, oh, they have names. And then this one is called Bell of the Ball. So I had no idea these had names. But there you go. Um, you learn something new every day. So as you can see, the color stories are pretty much the same. It's just a pop of green and gold on this one. And it's just a pop of blue in this one instead. So that's why I said, you know, that she duped herself with this. Because it's like, all you did was gave us a green and a gold as opposed to a blue so the blue the green replaces the blue and then i'm guessing the gold is supposed to replace one of the mauve shades but you know this collection was just okay it wasn't all of that the special shades were you know special and what i'm assuming got everybody buying along with the fact that people like bridgerton i've never watched bridgerton so i know nothing of it i know karen talks about it so we can go with that or whatever but i i've never actually watched it so i have no idea oh uh, what Bridgerton is about or what it looks like. But those are the five um, brands that duped themselves this go around. I'm sure I have more people always duping themselves. Oh, did you all see Michaela has the, another Glam Light collection coming out? So um, we'll see how that goes. Random side note, um, I didn't buy it originally price, but people are saying you can find the original collection now at TJ Maxx. So if you're interested in that palette, see if you can find it at your TJ Maxx. And, you know, all that good stuff there. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.